Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Commander of the United States Central Command, General Kenneth Mackenzie, at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted that continued defense coordination and collaboration represents a cornerstone of the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the United States. His Royal Highness noted that the role of the U.S. in promoting international peace and stability and reiterated Bahrain's commitment to work and with all the allies, such as the U.S., to further strengthen bilateral relations and safeguard regional security. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Bahrain Defense Force Chief of Staff, Gen General Diab bin Sagr Naimi, were also present. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawziya Zainal. The Council reviewed and approved the report of the Financial and Economic Committee concerning Law 25 of the year 2020, amending some provisions of the Reorganization and Bankruptcy Law No. 22 of the year 2018. The Council also approved a report amending some provisions of the Law on Regulating Civil Aviation of 14 of the year 2013, aimed at reinforcing safety in the Kingdom. The Council then approved and referred the following proposals to the government. A proposal concerning the general budget aimed at establishing a financial planning system to identify the needs of different societal age groups and achieve the principle of gender balance. A proposal on unemployment insurance aimed at orienting job seekers to occupy vacancies in services ministries. A proposal on converting sports clubs into investment companies. The Council also reviewed and approved two urgent proposals and referred them to the government, which are allocating a specific location for Bahrainis for random testing and vaccinations and reconsidering the spring break offered for academic staff. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the Legion of Merit degree of Chief Commander conferred by the former U.S. President Donald Trump in recognition of his efforts to consolidate friendship and partnership between Bahrain and the U.S., expand cooperation and support regional and international stability. SCIA President Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa chaired the Council's regular session, stressing that the recognition is a great source of pride to Bahrain and its people. It also highlights his Majesty the King's deep commitment to the foundations of coexistence peace among all people and civilizations through a series of leading initiatives locally, regionally and internationally. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched the new strategy for customs affairs for the year 2021 till 2024 during the celebration organized by the Customs Affairs. On the occasion of International Customs Day held under the slogan Customs Promote Recovery, Innovation and Resilience for a Sustainable Supply Chain. On the occasion, the Minister of Interior congratulated the Customs Affairs President, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for winning the chairmanship of the World Customs Organization. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation for the development of the Customs Affairs witnesses and called for the importance of educating society on the achievements made in this field. The minister noted that customs are a primary security front line and expressed his aspirations to activate the new strategy and implement it in the next phase through continuous efforts. General Sheikh Rashid highlighted that Bahrain has received praise for handling the coronavirus pandemic and the applied program with the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also noted that studies have proved the efficiency of the work and the team concerned with the implementation of the vision and the approved plans. For his part, the President of the Customs Affairs hailed the efforts of all authorities and sectors in combating the pandemic, commending the role of frontline workers in all customs ports, their vigilance and commitment to facilitating the legitimate movement of travel and trade through ports and maintaining general revenue and public interest. 
He hailed the approach of the Minister of Interior in terms of sustainable aspirations for development in light of the available resources and capabilities seeking to achieve excellence at all levels. A film was then screened on the new strategy of the Customs Affairs, including its goals, initiatives and implemented projects. The Minister honoured a number of outstanding employees, hailing their efforts and wished them success. King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence announced the enrollment of 280 students in the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence courses at Sapienza University in Rome during the first semester. Dozens of students representing different religions have been interested in the specialized courses offered by the university in Rome in the field of interfaith dialogue and peaceful coexistence. In February, the center will launch its winter program with the participation of 25 students representing several prestigious European countries countries and universities, including university students from Bahrain. The program aims to provide students with the skills to enable them to use the best analytical methods and methodological tools to study the nature of the existing links between different religions in terms of peaceful coexistence and common denominators among religions and sects. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,100 with 229 recoveries and 413 registered new cases. 202 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 204 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.